This is a AC fan that is used to connect to convert electrical energy into a mechanical energy and later into a wind energy. So here is the same motor that has been held on the wind and you can see it here it rotates under the influence of the wind but it's not connected to the electrical outlet so we are going to see if we can use this AC fan as a generator instead of a motor so in front of me i've got two kind of motors the first one here this one big one is actually an ic fan motor and this small one here is a common dc motor that works under a dc current from a battery so if you can see it here i try to connect it to the battery to see if it can rotate and convert electrical energy into a mechanical energy and you can see it it works I don't think if you can hear the sound, but the motor seems to work under the battery. So we are going to test this AC motor here by connecting it to AC main power supply to see and to check if it is still working and if it can rotate from an electrical power. So I'm going to connect it to an AC outlet to see if it convert it can convert electrical energy into a mechanical energy. And you can see it here, it works very smoothly without any problem. So now that we know that both of our motors can convert an electrical energy into mechanical energy, from both the DC motor and the an AC motor can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. So it's time to test if this motor can convert a mechanical energy into electrical energy. So I've connected this DC motor to the multimeter. To, and, it, and it try to rotate it to see if it produces an electrical current and you can see it on the multimeter it produces around two up to three volts so this this, this small DC motor here produces an electrical current from a mechanical energy and it can also convert a electrical energy into a mechanical energy so it's time to test if also this AC fan can do the same thing so that we can use it as our wind as our wind mill to convert a wind energy into electrical energy. So I've connected the outlet, the output of this AC fan to the multimeter to and, and try to rotate it to see how much power I can get from it. And you can see it here, the maximum voltage I can get from that motor from that AC motor is around 0 0.04 volts. I can't even get one volt from this AC motor compared to the DC one that we get around two to three volts. And keep in mind that this AC motor should produce around 250 volts because it can take 250 volts and convert it into a mechanical energy and it should be able to convert the mechanical energy into a 2 volt 50 electrical energy voltage but it seems not to do the, that work you can see it here I get around 0 0.04 volts and no matter what speed I rotate my motor it doesn't seem to, to produce more current than the previous one so if I try to rotate it slower or even faster it doesn't produce more than 0 0.04 volts and the reason here is that this AC fan motor here doesn't come up with permanent magnet. It doesn't have permanent magnet inside of it. So I've tried to connect it and I try to excite the coil with a magnet from outside this AC fan. And you can see here, I get around 0 0.09 to 0 0.1 volts when I try to put a magnet near this AC, AC fan here. So now know that this AC fan does not produce electricity because it doesn't have a permanent magnet. And a permanent magnet is very important feature in any kind of AC generator or in order to produce electricity you must have a permanent magnet. You can see it here. I've connected the outlet of this transformer here to the multimeter and I try to move the magnet closer to the coil of this transformer here and you can see that we are going to produce electricity when we try to rotate and move the magnet closer and further away from the coil. So 
in order to produce in order for a ac fan to produce electricity it must have a permanent magnet most of the ac fans doesn't come up with a permanent magnet it depends on an electromagnet produced when you switch on the fan and that rotor will produce electricity and then the stator will produce a magnet for to provide a magnetic field for that motor the electricity that you, you saw we produced when we try to rotate it, it was because of residual magnetism that remain on ic rotor that's is the one that is providing a field to produce electricity but it there is no permanent magnet here it's just a residual magnetism unlike the dc motor that has got a permanent magnet inside of it that's why despite its small size but because it has got a permanent magnet inside of it when you try to rotate it around the coil of a motor we, we saw that it produces electricity so that's why you cannot use a C fan as a generator because it does contain a permanent magnet there are a few AC motors that contain a permanent magnet but not so many motors in the next video i will try to explain why most ac motors doesn't come with permanent magnet and why most dc motor have got permanent magnet and how you can convert ac fan into a generator so subscribe and check out the next videos